this week's Torah portion talks about different laws. A lot of laws, a lot of, over 50 of commandments are in this week's Torah portion. And a lot of the laws is what happens if one person hurts someone. How much you have to pay? You push somebody down a flight of stairs. How much you got to pay? What would you say, Judy? How much you have to pay? Depends <laughs> 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 the number. You throw someone down the flight of stairs. He breaks his arm. How much you have to pay? You better pay the medical bills. Good. Good. That's, Good. Good. That's already most of this one. Pain and suffering. Else? Pain, Punishment. Pain. Pain and suffering. Shem no? Uh, his, if he's idle from work, perhaps. If he's idle of work, you got to pay the work that he lost. Oh, sure, obviously. Right? Everything. You have to pay the doctor bills, the work, and you have to pay the embarrassment. Oh, and let's say there's the embarrassment, future. and also you have to pay the value of this type of person with an arm, without an arm. There's five different things you got to pay for. But that's not the discussion tonight. So it depends what he's doing. Maybe it depends, uh, it depends what the future. Yeah. It can be yeah. The so there's five oh, things. That's a time. But. Yeah, yeah, so there's a lot of different things. Anyway, there's a lot of these laws are in this week's portion. What happens if you don't push somebody down a flight of stairs, but you actually start a fire in your backyard, and the fire is burning, you're making a fireplace, and your fire goes out, extends itself, you've been protected enough, and it built... My name, it burnt my neighbor's field. So a fire went out of my property, extended to my neighbor's field, and burnt it. Do I have to pay for your field? Oh, yes. Yes, the answer is yes. That's, that's the Torah. You see, you know the whole Torah almost. I know. That's it. <laughs> that's it. So that's it. So, so you do have to pay for it. Now, how does this got to do with Mashiach? Very simple. The Talmud says a very interesting thing here. Just as the law tells us that if you burn someone else's field, you have to repay that individual. God Almighty burnt the holy temple. The holy temple, the Beis HaMikdash that the Jewish people valued had in the first temple, second temple, went up on flames, fire. Because it went up flames, Hashem has to repay and build a new temple because the first one was destroyed by His fire. So just like the Torah says, you make a fire, you gotta pay, God keeps the Torah, Hashem had the base of Mikdash burnt, and therefore God will rebuild the base of Mikdash. So far, so good, right? Makes sense. Hashem had it destroyed. Even though the reason the Beis HaMikdash was destroyed was because of our sins. So did God really do the fire or we did the fire? It almost seems like we were the ones that caused the fire to come to destroy the temple. There were two temples. The first temple was destroyed because the Jewish people committed three major sins. The three hardest, severe, worst crimes. Adultery, idolatry, and murder. That was the first temple was destroyed. Jews were sinning in all three. The second temple was destroyed because of selfless hatred. No good reason, but people were hating one another. And that itself caused the destruction. So it was our sins. So we're, we're paying by being in Gullus. <clears throat> we're paying by being in exile. Nevertheless, even though you can say that we're in exile because of our sins, the temple was burnt, but nevertheless, Hashem had the temple, it was Hashem's works that had the Romans destroy the temple. If God would not will it, it would not happen. So God says, I was the one who put it on fire. I'm the, I'm the one that's going to build it on fire, out of fire. Fire came, fire is going to rebuild it. How can fire rebuild yes. it, huh? 
Isn't there an expression out of the flames or out of the fire? Something was born. Something. I can't remember exactly. Did he build the uh, candelabra out of fire? He showed Moshe a sample of, the, out. of out of fire. Also, God took out, when it came time for the half a shekel, God took out a half a shekel, a coin made out of fire, and said, This is what everybody should give. Why do we call it fire? But first take a look at the quotes here. They say, fire goes forth, finds thorns, and a stack of grain, a stack of grain, or standing grain, or the field be consumed, the one who ignites the fire shall surely pay. Says the Talmud, Baba Kama, the Holy One, blessed be He, said, It is incumbent upon me to make restitution for the fire which I kindled. It was I who kindled a fire in Zion, as it says. And He has kindled a fire in Zion, which has devoured the foundations thereof. Devoured. Should be. A devout. And it is I who will... It, was, it is I who will one day rebuild it anew by fire. As it says, for I, says the Lord, will be unto her a wall of fire around about, and I will be the glory in the midst of her. Referring to the holy temple being built of fire. One day. What's the meaning? When? When she has comes. Where were you? Her. That's right. Her. Her is Zion, I guess. Oh, Zion? So the built, built uh, base of Israel will be built in Zion, in Jerusalem. Why is the term fire used? So, first of all, fire always shows on a certain power, strength. I mean, fire, the damage that a fire can do is horrendous, right? The, the, the hardly can you find a dam more damaging thing than a fire. And so, when it says that the temple was destroyed with fire, it means that Hashem's wrath, God was so upset with the Jewish people, like fire, you know, it was a strong punishment. At the same time, when Hashem will rebuild the Beis HaMikdash, it'll also be with fire, because fire also represents that strength, that mightiness, when the Torah wants to describe God's strength and might, God says in, in the Barim, it says, For the Lord your God is a consuming fire, a zealous God. So consuming fire shows on a certain level of strength, a certain level of power. And Hashem wants to say, I destroyed it with that power and strength, I'm going to rebuild it with the power and strength.